Hi guys, Jade Morris here for MMA UK and my MMA news. We are joined today by Linton the Swan Vassal. Linton, how are you doing? Hello, I'm good. Thanks for having me. No problem at all. Now let's get down to it. So you're facing the African assassin soccer duo at Bellator 134 for the British Invasion. Um, and I hear you're over at the Black Zillions for your training camp, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. I've been here for um, nine weeks now. So I've had my whole camp here, you know, um, coming in December and I'll be leaving on the 24th of February. So it'll be, it'll be a long, long, hard camp. Definitely worth it then. <laughs> um, yeah. So who have you been getting to train with at the Black Sands? Obviously, it's a huge name. There's some massive fighters over there. Yeah, um, my main training partner has probably been Thiago Silva. Um, but I have rolled and, and sparred with Anthony Johnson and um, Rashad Evans, Tyrone Strong. So I've had my fair share of, you know, training with the top boys. Fantastic. So how have you prepared for your opponent this time then? Have you found someone to replicate Sokaju's style or...? Um, well, the good thing is there's all, all range of, you know, um, different techniques people have here. So I'm getting to train with people that are brawlers, um, hard kickers, um, grapplers, jiu-jitsu. So, yeah, I'm, de I'm definitely getting my fair share of um, sparring with everyone. So, um, before your uh, loss to Emmanuel Newton, obviously you were on an absolute tear. You had nine uh, wins back-to-back. -back. How do you see this match-up and where do you yeah. see your strengths? Um, definitely my strengths is definitely the grappling, um, grappling part. Um, I see the fight. Me taking him down at some point in the fight, ground and pounding, uh, maybe submission or maybe TKO, but I don't see it going out the first round. I like your confidence. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, on the um, on the Emmanuel fight, just going back to it, because I know a few people wanted me to ask. Um, yeah. If you could have that fight again, would you have done things differently from the first fight? Yeah, um, there's a lot of things I would have done. Um, the main one was probably not go for the submission straight away. Um, I probably got a bit too excited and caught up in a moment. Um, as soon as I got his back, I went straight for the rear naked choke. I didn't have no hooks in, you know, I didn't get positioned properly. And um, these are things that I knew, but, you know, I, I didn't do them. Um, they didn't implement into my fight. So, you know, these are things that, you know, I've brushed up on and they definitely won't be happening again, so... That's one thing I definitely do right. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, so you're friends with Liam McGarry here, who's obviously taking on Emmanuel Newton next for the title. Yeah. Now, if he wins, would you be open to fighting him? Because obviously you two are friends. Yeah, um, we've had this conversation with Liam before I've had the conversation with him. And we said, you know, um, if I was champion at the time, then he'd be next in line. So yeah, we'd, we'd have to fight. We're both in the same weight um, division and we both want to be number one so yeah um, obviously we'd have to fight each other when the time comes and if he um, if he loses this match do you feel like you deserve um, a rematch if you win this fight yeah for sure definitely I think I give Manuel probably the toughest fight he's ever had I'd say um, on Bellator or maybe I don't know in his whole career but yeah 100% I think I should get um an immediate rematch if you may know Newton won. Okay, so I've got some fan questions for you. Just yeah. I'll pass these <clears throat> over. So we put a little tweet out to say if you have any questions for Linton, and as you can imagine, they all poured in. So I only <laughs> will give you three because I know you're busy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so the first one is What is your inspiration for success? And that's from Janine and Andy Lane. Um, I say I love this sport. I say when I've been watching it from when I was, you know, um, probably about 15, 16. Um, I never thought I'd be doing it, but um, my inspiration is definitely for like my, my fans um, to follow me in my footsteps. You know, if I can inspire them to, um, you know, if they want to become something like, say, a fighter or anything like that, they can do it. You know, just um, train hard and believe, and things will come. Okay, and the second one is from Abbas Azad, and he asks, if you were to get signed by the UFC and you could pick your first opponent, who would it be and why? Um, definitely the champion, um, John Jones. You know, he's number one. 
he's on the tear up. Um, so he's, he's the champion, and it's just beating everyone. So yeah, it'd be good to test my skills against the, the number one champion in the world. We definitely need a British champion. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure's on you, Linton. <laughs> it's on, it's on. <laughs> um, right, and the last question. How many hours weekly do you train in the weight room and how many hours training MMA and technique? So that's from Honza Cavalier. Um, for weights, like for my power and strength, it would probably be about an hour and a half, um, depending on what I'm doing. And for like technique and drills, that would probably be about, say, about half an hour. But the class is about an hour and a half, so we'll do the drills and technique and then we'll, we'll spar um, for the rest. Fantastic. Well, that's all we'll have time for with the fan questions. We won't take up any more of your time. Um, is right to um, just give a shout out to a few sponsors? Of course you can. Yeah. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to Living Fat, um, The Warehouse, Milton Keynes, um, Vassell's Beauty, Impact, Good and Nutrition, Sports Therapy, and also the Health Plate, Milton Keynes. It's a big list. It's a good job you had it there, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> oh, we won't take up any more of your time. Thank you so much no uh, for speaking to us, and good luck at Bellator 134. Thank you so very much. Luck. Thank you so much, Cheers. Linton. Thanks. No worries. Thanks for time. <laughs>